Jordan, do you remember you once said that as you get older, your dreams get bigger? Do you remember saying Did that? Did I? Yeah. I can't remember. I, I How's speak. it been for you? <laughs> <laughs> I speak a lot, so I can't remember what I say. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, a dream to play in another Champions League final. Uh, it was always a dream of mine to be able to play in one. So to get the opportunity to, to play in the third one is um, is incredible, really. So another big opportunity for for us as a team and, and a club, and one that we're we're looking forward to. Could you have imagined this story, the story of your football career? Not really. Um, yeah, when I was a kid, that's all I ever wanted to do was play football. Um, so to be playing, like I said, in the Champions League final is is a dream come true for me and something that I've yeah, worked for my entire life really. So um, yeah, I'm very grateful and um, I don't take it for granted. So I just want to be ready as, in, in the best possible shape I can be in and give everything for the team. And the team is in incredible form. It's one defeat this year and that was a game you won on aggregate anyway. I mean, it's an incredible consistency. Yeah, consistency has been really good this year, um, especially in the turn of the year, I think. Um, mentality, focus, everything was um, was first class from the boys and you've got to give them a lot of credit. Um, so far it's brought us two trophies which we've deserved and um, we've got another opportunity to make that three on Saturday but we know it'll be really tough. It's never going to be easy against a world class team in Madrid and the experience that they have in the competition. Um, so we, we know it'll be difficult but it always is in the Champions League final and um, we just want to keep doing what we've been doing for a long period, give absolutely everything and see what happens on the night. Yeah, but sustaining that is quite incredible, that, that level of performance. There's no dips and you're, you're, the, you're the man who leads that message in the dressing room. You're, you're Jurgen Klopp's head boy. Yeah, but I think, I mean, I wear the armband, but there's a lot of leaders in the dressing room. You know, it's not just solely on my shoulders. The manager takes on a lot, a lot of responsibility also and a lot of credit has got to go to him and, and rightly so. But the boys, the whole group have, have been incredible all season and these big leaders in the dressing room that have different personalities which I think is important but all respect each other and all lead in different ways and, um, and that's been a big part of our success, the culture, the dressing room environment because that then transcends onto the pitch. You're seen as a father figure in that dressing room now, according to, oh, I don't to, see that. According to Trent hey, and <laughs> Robbo. <yeah. laughs> Maybe the Trent, yeah. Not Robbo. Robbo looks older than me. <laughs> but you have that vibe, don't you, now? Yeah. Um, we've all, we all get along really well. And that's, that comes with being together for so long, going through bad moments as a team and, and, and as teammates, um, and then coming out the other end to, to then have good moments and success. And... Um, and yeah, we're, we're demanding, we push each other and we argue sometimes, but we all get along and we all respect each other, which is the main thing. And um, I couldn't have asked for a better dressing room in my career. You know, if you, if you think of a dream dressing room and how all the players get on and the talent, yes, but also the characters, the personalities, the leaders within that dressing room, you, you couldn't pick a better dressing room for me. It's an honour and a privilege to, to be part of this team. Um, and like I said, I want to just be ready to give everything for them on, on Saturday. When certain players get into their 30s, they, they pay a lot more attention to the training drills and to the, the coaching side because they're planning ahead. And we've seen a lot of players move into that. Is that something you, you'd like to do? <laughs> uh, what you, I'm not getting that old, am I? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm still, but still a baby. To, but you, you're, I can remember you know, Lampard, Gerard, Arteta, you could all see them absorbing stuff. And, just wanting to know more about the game, thinking maybe of another step. I'm not making you a manager yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, you never know. You never know in the future. I never would rule anything out. But for the time being, I feel as though I've still got a lot left in the tank. You know, I still feel young. I still feel fresh. You know, I've, the amount of games that I've played this season. You know, I know last season I, I suffered an injury at the end of the season. Um, just got back for the Euros. Um, didn't really, obviously then rehabbed still after the Euros and didn't really have much of a break but a um, few questions probably were asked because uh, yes, when you get in your 30s that happens, everybody starts questioning, um, yeah, are you sort of coming to the end of your career at 30? Well, for me, 30, 31 is they're still very young, you know, people, I've seen players 
who were incredible. I look at like Modric, I think, what, he's 36, 37. Yeah, he looks fit as a fiddle, you know, he runs all day, incredible player. And um, I think these days, the way that the players look after the bodies, the right nutrition, the recovery, I feel as though that that's going to expand and keep going and you can play for a, a long, very long time yet. And that's how I feel, you know, so I do everything properly. I live my me, me life in the right way. And I have done my whole career because I dedicate everything to football. So hopefully I still got a lot of time left to play. And um, yes, the older you get, you know, you want to learn new things all the time. Even though I'm 31, I still want to learn. I still want to improve and progress. And, um, and you do start thinking about other sides of the game and, and that comes with experience. So hopefully I can continue doing that under this manager and, and the coaching staff and obviously my teammates as well. What do you rem remember of the defeat in Kiev? Um, I remember in the actual game, I remember starting quite well in the game, um, especially first 20 minutes. I think we, we started quite well, if I'm, if I'm right and quite bright. Um, and then, yeah, in the, in the goals that I can remember conceding came in a flash, really, and that, that's what happens against a top team that Beal comes on yeah. and scores unbelievable yeah. overhead kick. Uh, that's but the, Mo got that's the quality as well. Yeah, did that knock? Yeah, the Mo, out Mo got injured, which obviously he was a massive player during mm -hmm. that season as well, and a, a big player for us um, at, in that time um, st still. And for him to go off so early with, with a shoulder injury disrupts the rhythm a little bit and um, and changes things yeah a little bit. So maybe that disrupted it, um, but the quality that Madrid have even then, but even more so now, um, the quality, they can just change a game in a minute. We've seen it against Chelsea, we've seen it against City, we know how good them two sides are and um, we need to be at 100%, if not more, if we want to be able to come home with a trophy um, because we're talking about world-class players here, world-class team who um, are very experienced in finals. Just last one, end on a happy note. Your memory of, of the win, the win against Tottenham in Madrid? Uh, yeah, probably the best moment in my career um, so far for sure in terms of just probably relief, you know, <laughs> just like to get over the line and to win Champions League was was everything I dreamt of as a kid. That's a, that's all I ever wanted to do, and um, yeah, when the final whistle blew, it was just just zapped everything out of my body. Really, it was a, it was a surreal experience, and um, a feeling that I'll I'll never forget. And yeah, certainly the the best moment in my career so far. And I hope um, I hope Saturday I can get that feeling back again. See, as you get older, your dreams get bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Good man. Thank you.